pornography is doing to the male brain. What pornography does to men is it allows them intense gratification without the fear of rejection. And what men need is reje rejection in order to build their bravery and redirect them. If I'm really overweight or if I'm not making a lot of money, I'm living in my mom's basement and I go out into the dating world, I realize women don't find that attractive. So I redirect myself. I ask, what, what pornography allows me to do is maintain that state whilst getting the gratification I want. And the other thing it does to men is it blurs their true value. So they will see these beautiful women online go into the real world and say if he's a 4 out of 10, he should be aiming for a 4 out of 10 woman. But he'll think, I, I, I don't want that girl. I'm not attracted to this girl. And they'll be aiming for the 12 out of 10s and they can only access them through escorts or through, uh, I mean, in America, they call it passport bros. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. You already know the most high done woke us up this morning. Let's take this opportunity to be great. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully y'all having yourselves a good day, a good morning, a good start to the week thus far. You know what I mean? Because we big bless nothing less, man. So let's get it, man. Let's make it do what it do. But before y'all do, man, I had to show y'all that clip real quick, man. Listen, bruh, in so many words, what she's saying right there is that you know, porn really doesn't grow you. It doesn't elevate you. It makes you think that you are fine in the state that you are in. You know what I'm saying? That's what porn brings to you. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to give you intense gratification, you know, for you doing nothing. So you really didn't even earn it. You know, it doesn't make you want to get out there and work on yourself. So you getting paid for doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? You're getting paid for doing nothing. You know, you're not going out there gaining any type of experience. You know what I mean? You're not going out there getting rejected by a certain woman that you want. You know, you're not going out there, you know, just having these situations happen and it actually building you up. You know, whether it's good or bad, one thing that we know is that, you know, when you go through rejection, you know what I'm saying? When you see other people, you know, doing things and getting all of this cloud attention and stuff like that. When you see that, you know, naturally it should make you want to do better and want more. But since we got that porn right there, we always going to say, well, listen, I got rejected. At least I got porn. You know, I'm underachieving in my life. At least I got porn. I didn't get the job. At least I got porn. You know, I failed the test. At least I got porn. I got dumped. At least I got porn. You know what I'm saying? And that's what most men is going to, you know, go with. You know, so it really ain't going to build you, you know, build bravery up and, you know, redirect your life so you could get on the right track. So you could actually get the things that you want. You know what I'm saying? So you can actually gain and obtain the wisdom and the knowledge that you need for you to succeed but instead you got that porn that's gonna sit right there and it's gonna allow you you know to stay in the same state that you in as she said so you're gonna think it's okay you know to you know be broke you're gonna think it's okay to be staying in your mama's basement till you're 30 you're gonna think it's okay to be playing video games with most of your time you're gonna think it's okay to be gaining all of this weight you're gonna think it's okay because you got porn right there you know what I'm saying? You got porn as that buffer, and it's never going to make you want to get tougher. You're going to have porn as that buffer, and it's never going to make you want to get tougher, bruh. But instead, it's just going to pull you further away from your masculinity. So you're pretty much choosing weakness. You know, you're pretty much choosing to be, be a loser. You know, and then when you get out there, it's just like she said, since you see all of these beautiful women that you fap into all the time, you know what I'm saying? Then that's what you tend to go out there and get. You know what I'm saying? That's what you tend to go out there and want to get. You know, but since you can't get it because you a slacker, since you can't get it because you don't, you're not a high value man. You know, and for some people that want to say, well, how you know ain't how you ain't high value because of how you treat yourself. You're not high value because you need pornography. You're not high value because you're not striving for greatness. So, yeah, you're not high value. And because you're not that, but you have these habits and, you, and in your mind, you think you, that you deserve 
beautiful women because of what you see and what you fap into. Because you can't get it, you will result to prostitution. You know what I'm saying? You will re resort to escorts. You know, and honestly, it ain't no telling what you would really do just to, you know, get what it is that you think you deserve because, you know, ain't no telling what you're looking at through them screens. You know what I'm saying? That's why you see so many predators out there. That's why you see so many rape cases out there. That's why you see so many sexual assaults out there because you got a bunch of guys that you know, haven't worked on themselves and refused to work on themselves, but instead they allowed the program of no pornography, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to get in their mind, you know, to where now they go out there and they really look at it as a hunt, you know what I'm saying, like literally, like we're not talking like, oh, we're with the guys, we're going to go to the club, we're going to see what numbers we can get, what we can scoop up, no, these dudes be really on the hunt, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Just like they would be at home, you know, while they're going through all sorts of pornography. You know, it's not like how it was when you was a kid, bro. The more tolerance that you build to where you could just see a video and you see something you like and then boom, boom, wham, bam. You know, your tolerance build up so much and you become more extreme to where you actually hunting through that screen. You become more extreme and you hunting through that screen. For the perfect video, whatever type of category that it is that you like, the websites and all of that. Before you know it, you got a thousand windows open of different videos, all to just get you off. And that is very extreme. And you got a lot of guys that's walking around here with that mindset. So, you know, they feel like they deserve deserve all of these women. They feel like everything because you 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 actually want everything to come easy just like that porn do just like that 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 instant gratification that intense you know gratification that you get when you release from watching porn so you expect everything in your life to be like that so you're not gonna put in work you know for 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 anything you're not gonna put in work for the money that you want you're not gonna put in work for the women that you want you're not going to put in work for the job that you want. You're not going to put in no work for the body that you want, the health that you want. You're not going to put in work for any of those things. But instead, you always going to opt out. You're going to run the pornography. You're going to run the toxicity. You know what I'm saying? You're going you're gonna to run the easy things. You know what I'm saying? You're never, you never, you never going to go to the most high for help and ask for answers and really work on yourself. Because this scripture right here is going to run them away. The scripture in it says self, that faith alone, you know what I'm saying, is not enough. You just can't go off of faith alone. You're going to have to have works behind it. You know what I'm saying? You have to be ye doers of the word and not just hearers only. And that just that that's not only with spirituality, that's in your life. How many times you hear people say they want this, they want that, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But it's never no work behind what they saying. It's never no work behind the things that they want. They just talk about it, bro. And, that, and you got a lot of people that's like that, bro. And, you know, porn rev them up for that, bro, because it keeps them far away from their natural self, bro. To where they don't have the masculinity they don't have the testosterone they don't have the energy they don't have the health they don't have the mental capacity bro they don't have none of that because porn stripped that away from them and then you got so many people that will say oh man that's 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 it, that it, it don't do all of that it don't do all of that okay you know a lot of people could keep telling themselves that but these is people that that you know, you never know where people at in this addiction. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of the people that be that be yelling this, you know, they probably ain't as far ahead as a lot of other people are. You know what I'm saying? That's been fapping for years and years and years. And then they watch the opportunities dwindle away. You know what I'm saying? They didn't watch good relationships dwindle away. They didn't watch their health dwindle away. They didn't watch their life dwindle away, bro. So you don't know that.
you don't know how bad it could get for a lot of people. And then we seeing more and more young people that's actually been exposed to pornography at an early age through the internet and all that stuff to where, yeah, now you ain't, you know, it don't get extreme the, the older you get. It's extreme for kids now. It's extreme for kids now to where they tolerance ain't there, to where they patience ain't there. And then them the ones you see, bro, prisons full of these cats. You will be like, what? They did what? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro. <clears throat> yeah, man. You wouldn't, you you know, most would be at an age like, yo. And, and, and the crazy part is, is that when, when you see them that young committing these uh, certain type of crimes, you'd be like, you know... You still got your youth. You still had time to work on yourself. You know what I'm saying? You haven't even grown and developed and had a chance, gave yourself a shot. But because of porn and how deep they are into that world, you know what I'm saying? They go out there and then they do some crazy stuff. You know, whether it's the emo- emotions gone, you know, all out of the, you know what I'm saying? They, they don't have control of that. So, you know, a lot of times these young cats be getting in these relationships and be wilding out, going crazy. You know what I mean? Killing their girlfriends, doing all types of stuff, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or you got the ones that it don't get to that point, but, you know, be young and having babies all over the place. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's just deeper than what people think. So you got to understand what she's saying in that clip. Porn is just, it's just going, you know, you just don't want to, you don't want to do nothing for yourself when you live in that life, bro. And, and you're going to think that everything is okay when it really ain't. You know what I'm saying? So you're not going to really want to strive for anything, bro. You're not going to want to become your best version because you always think that porn is going to be there. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not going to use what happened to you in life to grow you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, yeah, rejection. Her, I didn't been rejected. I didn't have my heart broken. You know what I'm saying? I didn't cry for chicks. You know what I mean? No, no, no. You know what I'm saying? I, what, what do I got to hide? I didn't cry for women. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, you know, I didn't been through it. But at the end of the day, it didn't break me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Instead, I grew and learned from these experiences. And that's why we're here today. Addiction. I learned from that. The Most High pulled me out of that. I learned from it, and it helped me grow. You know what I'm saying? But when you live a certain type of lifestyle, which we see a lot of these days, a lot of people don't want to change nothing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people not, you know, a lot of people that go through certain experiences, they allow that to break them. You know what I'm saying? So you seeing the struggle across the board, and pornography just don't help us as men, bro. You know what I mean? That's just a... It's just a huge, a, it plays a huge part of why we never, you know, become our best version. Why we never develop into that vision and the person that we was meant to be. Period, point blank. You know what I'm saying? And look at me, like I'm still fighting to get out of that mode, to get out of that space because it still pop up in there. You know what I'm saying? Anytime I'm going through like a hard time in my life, you know what I'm saying? Now I don't have that porn to lean back on. So with that, with with fighting that fight and fighting the flesh, bro, you know, it's gonna pop up in your head and then you're gonna be like, ah, don't got that, can't do that no more. I don't do that no more. It ain't I can't do that. I don't do that no more. I don't watch that stuff no more. You know what I'm saying? Dang, could use a drink, dang, don't drink no more. I don't drink no more. You know what I mean? I don't smoke no more. You know, I ain't doing none of that BS that then held me back for so long, you know, that then really stunted my growth. And that's what porn and a lot of these things out here do is stunt your growth, bro. Don't fall for it. Stop doing it. It is not okay to be a loser. It's, a, it's not okay to not become your best version. It is not okay to be out here not fulfilling the most high's will. It's not okay to to be, you know, born a man, but you're not doing man things. You know what I'm saying? You don't have that masculine man energy. It's not okay for you to be a man and not have your masculine energy, not have no testosterone. You know what I'm saying? It's actually harder for you because, you know, you have expectations to this world. 
you have expectations to the for the most high. Period. First, before the world. Before the world, you got expectations for the most high that, are, that the most high expect you to live up to and do as you in your energy, in your body that the most high created. But when you fapping away all your life force energy and you draining yourself, you draining your energy, you draining your time, you draining your confidence, you draining everything about you, then you can't do it. You can't do it, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you just got to get the seriousness of it, bro. It's not it's not funny. You know what I'm saying? It's not funny when you out here like that. It's not funny when them demons is in you. It's not funny when you got nothing else and you wake up and it's like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Where did time go? Where did people go? You know, where did my life go? Where did them good relationships I had go? Where did my youth go? You know what I'm saying? Where did every, where did all this go? It bro. You know what I'm saying? You gave it up. You gave it up to them demons. You gave it up to addiction. You gave it up to them habits. You gave it up to comfortability. You gave it up to them screens. You gave it up to them elites. You know what I'm saying? You gave it up to chasing them women. You know what I'm saying? That's what you gave it up to, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's time to snap out of it, man. You know that that ain't for us. That's not for the most highest children. That's that's not that's not for us. That's not for us, bro. You know, if anything, that is an abomination. You know what I'm saying? That's an abomination, bro. That's disrespect. You know what I mean? And if you want to keep disrespecting yourself, man, listen, bro. I'm telling you, you ain't going to like the ending of that. You're not going to like it. You're not going to like where you end up at. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to like it, man. So it's time to get right, all right? That's my word, man. My name is Jason and Sante. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace.